friend of yours, Josh, uh, how long have you been married? Almost four years, coming up in August, yeah. And, and your wife's name, forgive me, I should Becca. know. Becca. Becca. Yep. Because you met her in Tulsa. Tulsa. Yeah, yeah, I did. A friend of yours gave you some awesome relationship advice that I, I wanted to just bring up and if you could elaborate on. But this one question is just a brilliant question, guys. I want to share it with Amy and Kank sure. and everybody. It, it's this. Ask the other what happened in your heart today that I wouldn't know about unless you told me. Yeah. What happened in your heart today that I wouldn't know about unless you told me? And do you guys practice that? And what, you know? well, we try to. I mean, that's certainly something we try to do, with, especially while I'm on the road, because we're apart uh -huh. for an entire day. And a lot of times she'll say, well, what did you do today? And it's easy for me to say, same thing I did yesterday. I, I got up, you know, I had a meal, we sound checked, we played a concert, I met people, went to bed. Um, but yeah, a friend told us to say that. What happened in your heart today that I wouldn't know about unless you told me? Because then I start going, oh, well, I, um, I met someone today and we had this conversation and it made me feel this way. And, and I prayed for this person uh, because this came to mind because of this situation. And then you start digging deeper. And I think it works for couples who aren't on the road as well because maybe you're apart because one of you works uh, and one's with the kids or you both work and you come back together. Um, and it's just a good question to ask to reconnect. So I think it's a brilliant question. I think you're right. I think it happens, with, especially I think with guys. Kank, I don't know, you can chime in, but it's so easy for us to come home. Your wife asks, how was your day? Great. What happened? No, the same. Nothing. And then you just move on. And yeah. there's not this, this digging into, because we have things and we have thoughts and we have these notions and ideas and frustrations and joys that have occurred in our life yeah. in one given day. So that is a brilliant question, I think. It, it helps dig. And you've experienced some benefit of that. Absolutely. That's cool. Because it's, yeah, being a guy, I'm never one to just spill my heart, you know, it, in words. And I just assume she knows things. And so for me to be able to tell her what happened in my day is, uh, is really important. I got to be honest, it scares me to death. <laughs> <laughs> me too, Cause, man. Because Becky will ask me, hey, you know, is anything exciting or whatever? And I'm just like, I'm like a dead wood. I don't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't have anything. I don't know why. So, is it a guy thing? That's like there's no ups and downs for me. I, it's like I maybe need me to take notes. Oh, that was awesome. But I, I don't we'll know. We'll see. The, if you know like the question's amnesia. coming, I think you're going to put your antenna so up. So I go into my day with that thought. I think so. Oh, it's cool. it's okay. going to make your it's going to make your day more meaningful. Uh, you know, knowing that you have to answer that question. Right. You're going to you're going to be you're going to be more intentional. Now, what about you, Amy? What do you think about that on, you know, being the wife? Would that benefit you and your relationship on that end? Well, I just think, I mean, being married 16 years now, sometimes you are sitting there and you're that couple at the restaurant that's not talking. You don't have any communication mm. going on because sometimes. it's... Sometimes, yeah, we are. And you don't want to be that. And you want, and you're like, okay, what can I ask that's going to really dig deeper? And so yeah. I think that that's going to spark something where you're really hearing the passion in the heart of your spouse when sometimes you don't know how to get past the surface and yeah. things are a little dry. Yeah, you assume you know everything about the person. I mean, I've only been married four years. So I, you know, I, I'm not, I don't know what 16 is like, but I can only imagine it, it gets even more difficult to continue to get to know somebody. But I think it's so important.